Hi everybody, it's Marty. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, I have a migraine again. It's actually the second day. So, today is way better. Um, I couldn't even oh, dream about doing this um, yesterday. So if you're new, I'm a woman of a teen, transgender, transsexual, whatever you want to call it, experience. And when I'm better, I'll put up a card right there that'll lead you to one of my stories. So if you're looking for resources or stories, because you're going through the journey or have friends or, or you're thinking of or whatever, that's my experience. So um, I want to say hi to all my subscribers and to let you know I am shooting for to do a live next Sunday, the 17th, this Sunday, this weekend. 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you guys know, if you're old subscribers, you know that I get migraines, and this is part of my life. And I probably have a dozen videos of me um, resting, nursing migraines. See, I've got ice pack, got dim lights. I got a, just a very dim light over here, so you can actually see me without the reflection on there, and. Um, so yeah, this is a result, I believe, of um, genetics, predisposed migraines. Migraines, scientifically, they say that it's, that we're predisposed to it genetically. And my, so many of my people in my family have it, and my mother had it. I used to nurse her when I was a kid. She'd keep me home from school and I'd take care of her. So it's really weird when I see myself like this. It's like I see my mom. Eh. Uh, anyways, I've made peace with her. If you guys have watched my video on my mom, you know, it ended up to be a beautiful story after 28 years estrangement. But anyways, I just wanted to check in. I wanted to tell you that it's a go for Sunday, and, um, and I apologize for not if somebody, people were looking for my new SRS Decades Past video. Um, I wasn't able to get it in the can or finish it. Um, but I'm answering some great questions in my feed anyway, in my comments, that there's, um, you know, not a lot of us, like I said, that survived, that had surgeries decades ago, and, um, you know, what it's like now. Um, so it's kind of interesting that I'm laying in bed and I'm talking to you as a woman of a... Uh, transgender experience when it wasn't even called that <laughs> um, you know starting in the late 70s as a kid and you know being one of the there's not too many my age 57 that survived it and I've met some on YouTube which is great and some that are stealth that I totally understand because I live stealth most of my life but I believe that my migraines, everything for me, is based on all that. You know, being stealth and having to go through this experience. This experience. <coughs> Excuse me. If I had to do it all over again, would I do it? When I got a migraine and I think of, you know, okay, I don't take hormones. I haven't taken hormones most of my life. I had all the surgeries so hormonally there is a disconnect in my body so I'm sure these headaches have a lot to do with it I get at least seven to ten migraines a month but if you look at the data you know on migraines it's like some people get them every day for years you know and I believe the emotional piece of um, becoming a uh, YouTube creator and sharing my stories and my 100 and, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 videos um, where I've talked on so many topics of how, what I went through to be here, being 57 and been through all the horrible cracks in, in the in the road growing up and having to do survival industry stuff that I didn't want to do. I acted like I did, but 
how else could I act, you know? And, you know, I wasn't done until I was done, and luckily, um, almost, almost half my life ago, um, I said enough, and I went to recovery, and I retooled the brain, and spirit, and mind, and speech, and, you know, and had a career in just mainstream world, and, and did tons of therapy, tons. I'm still doing it, because I tell you, I get affected so much by everything, and, um, so if you're on the transgender path and stuff, um, I highly suggest, and you can, it's just suggestion, not advice, to make sure that you have people that you respect in your life, like spiritual elders, I like to call them, so you can bounce things off of, and, um, because it really is an inside job, like it was, you know, having all the surgeries and stuff. And I waited until I was in my early 30s to have the last one. And, um, sure things changed in the sense of being on the mainstream, but, um, using facilities and whatnot, which was such a joy. Um, but it didn't change. The inner work that I did as a person happened you know, for five years before I had it, when I completely left that old life of the scene and, you know, selling myself and doing all that stuff that I had to do when I was a kid. But, um, but I realized in 1990, I didn't have to do that anymore. And I, I didn't realize until I was in recovery and detox and stuff, and they told me, you know, you don't have to do that. <laughs> and I was like, really? So I'm really lucky that um, I was able to grasp that at, at that age because I know friends that are my age that are still stuck in that stuff. I can't believe it. They're in their like mid-50s and they're still, you know, being escorts and all that stuff. And all the power to you. If you can do it, that's great. You know, but I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't be, um, this awake, and I'm not trying to say that I'm better than anybody else, but for me, I had to realize, what is my resistance to doing this? It was because, um, I couldn't, I couldn't do it to myself anymore. And I believe this, this whole life experience is connected to our higher spiritual experience. And, um, and I didn't know that until I came into recovery and, you know, I'm not saying that. I, I do want to say that, you know, a lot of people say, oh, it's like I figured it out after the fact, after they had the surgeries, but that's not my experience. Like I knew, um, my spirit path and everything, and I'm this, on the same one. But I still had to do this because I was born in a time and that so much uh, imprints on my mind, being born in 1962 and being transgender since I was, you know, realizing that I was need to live as me, you know, by the time I was 15, I was authentically starting to do that. So, um, it's, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a long haul. So just if you're thinking about, you know, radically doing stuff like this, just Make sure you're not affected by social media and all that stuff. It's like we're not in the same world that I, when I was a kid. And, you know, I know for me and the psyche of me now, I had to do this. Doesn't matter what. Doesn't matter even if I found out that my endocrine system is whacked. And that's why I get these migraines. Which I think is part of it. But I think there's a lot of different things about it. It's about surviving as a kid back in the 70s when you always had to be on fight or flight mode, that 
what that does to the amygdala, amygdala, amygdala part of the brain. It's the stressors, like, it's just intense. Um, and the reason why I wanted to say all this is because I saw a really great friend. Actually, he was my first boyfriend when I was like 15. And he was eight, turning 18. And, um, and I saw him, like, uh, we connected on Facebook about four years ago, and he lives two provinces over, and he happened to be coming over here. So we saw each other for the first time, and he made me soup and, and gluten-free cake, and we talked, and, oh, I love him so much. It was so sweet. He met my husband. And, um, but I tell you, when he told me he was coming out of here, out here, I had a migraine for a day. And then when I finally saw him afterwards, I was sick for two days after I saw him because it brought up so much stuff from the past, so much stuff. And, um, you know, some of it was great, you know, first boyfriend stuff, whatever, but, you know, it brought up stuff because I talked to him, I said, um, because why we broke up, we actually, I actually moved to his province, and I was, God, I was like 17 then, and, um, when I got a job at, um, at a, as a waitress, at a, co a cocktail waitress, at a bar, he was kind of going, cocktail waitress, and I realized that's when he thought, oh my God, he thinks I'm a drag queen, or like, um, um, he thought I was different when I wasn't wearing any makeup on, I guess. But and I was dumbfounded and I was heartbroken. And I was able to tell him that when I saw him. And, um, yeah, he just didn't understand. And, um, he said, you were very stealth with everything all the time. And I guess I was, but I was just being authentic too, figuring it out. And um, so, yeah, it was interesting. And then I got a wicked headache the next day, and I still have one today. So just so it was interesting, and I, I wanted to put that on record. Um, so I don't know. Do you go through this stuff? Um, you know, if, you've, if you have transitioned um, for a long time now, it's like when you see people from your past, um, to get triggered, you know, it was a good thing. It was a good thing, but because of my PTSD from surviving all that stuff and all the wicked things that went with it, um, I'm definitely triggered, even if it's a beautiful thing, like it brings up so much stuff that my head just kind of overloads. So anyways, um... I love you guys. And again, the SRS uh, Decades Past video. I'm going to get it out there. I've, got, I've gotten so many great comments from it. And um, from the, the three in the series. And um, I'm going to do more because there's a lot more to talk about. Because I'm still struggling with all that stuff too. Because... And I'm finding every time I have to uh, delate, you know what I mean? Um, there's so much freaking emotional baggage that happens. And that didn't happen for, God, 20 years. It wasn't until, like, I talk about it since I got divorced. And I was living alone before I met Graham. And, uh... Well, anyways, watch one of my videos on that. Um, I, it's in the description. I, I just Those are my most popular ones. So they're in my description if you haven't read it. It'll tell you why it's hard for me to do that. Anyways, I love you guys. I hope you've been um, staying warm. We've been just clobbered in on Vancouver Island with snow. It's so bizarre for us to get this much snow. Yeah. Okay, so 
Thanks for helping me break up this boring two-day migraine. And be kind to each other, especially yourselves. And please like the video. Give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Leave some comments. Um, especially if you have any SRS decades past comments too. Because um, the video's not completely in the can yet so I could probably answer more stuff okay I love you guys have a great weekend see you Sunday love you